hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all um first i want to say happy thursday to everyone i hope everybody is having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff um I had to get back to you know the whole concert thing with the little stampede y'all um and rest in peace to the two who have lost their lives in this whole incident but you have to be careful of where you're going okay and what you're doing you know you can't blame everybody that you know is you know responsible you know it's their venue it's their concert but um you have to blame yourselves as well when you um continue to put yourself in harm's way when you're dealing with certain people okay um i want you to listen to the lyrics that you know um little mama right here i want you to listen to the lyrics that glorilla you know sings listen to the lyrics y'all all she talking about is ratchet wretched this and wretched that what y'all think gonna show up to these concerts wretched people did y'all see in the audience when people when you know she was performing the song she was singing people jumped up out of the seats and they was well i don't know if they were seat, sitting down or whatever but the women in there start bending over acting like they was a part of the concert and everything and the guys taking pictures of between they you know this is the wretchedness that's showing up to her concert so there's going to be things like this is going to happen okay when you got wretched people showing up, okay? Um, you have to be careful of, you know, the things that you call yourself is entertaining you. Because this is what happens. Now, I had put up a video yesterday talking about, you know, lawsuits was, you know, a brewing, okay? Um, word on the street is a lot of lawsuits are brewing right now, y'all. A whole heap of bunch, okay, y'all? People that just... You know, um, not just the people that, you know, the people that were taken out, family, and people that's in the hospital right now. It's a lot of people got hurt, and they went to the doctor and get, came back out or whatever. Uh, even people that showed up for security, security officers got hurt, y'all. Um, this whole thing is weird. And uh, I'm going to tell you this. Because a lot of people feeling like, oh, they're not going to come for Glorilla and Finesse two time. It's their concert. It's their concert. It's their, you know, um, the place where they chose to bring the wretched people there. And what do you expect? They're going to take some kind of backlash in this, y'all. They are. Believe it or not, they are. You know, even Glorilla try to act like, oh, I wasn't there. When I heard about what happened, this and this and this and that. Y'all, they said they got some investigators that's going through this with a fine tooth comb. And word on the street is, now, I don't know if this is totally the truth or not, but I'm going to just throw it out there because I heard this. They said the feds is in on um the investigation of this concert. Yes, they did, y'all. And I'm going to tell you this. Not only is they saying that the feds is investigating this, but the venue has lost their license, y'all. This is what they're saying. The venue lost their license because of what just happened. They had some more concerts um, lined up, and they canceled them. They canceled them, y'all. So it's a big thing going on right now. It's not something that's just going to be brushed under the rug, y'all. The license of Rochester, New York concert venue was revoked Wednesday while authorities investigate the circumstances of a stampede after a rap concert that left two women, you know, taken out and injured several other concert goers. Um, it's a lot. It just hit the fan, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I'm going to tell you this. You know, people don't understand 
you know where I'm coming from until I tell you this part right here. Okay, it's going to start getting harder and harder and harder for people like Finesse Two Times and Glorilla to be able to fill big venues like this. They are only going to be able to go to a little hole in the walls in a minute. Because um, the venues is taking a backlash of a lot of stuff that's going on. So they're not going to even want to, um, you know, book them because of their wretched friends. Okay, y'all. So you have to think about things that you're doing while you're doing it and how it's going to affect you. Yeah, it might put your name in lights because, you know, people lost lives just like at Travis Scott concert. But when people lose lives at these concerts and then, you know, the venues start losing their license and stuff like this because of people passing away and stuff like this and then so many lawsuits flying... Um, venues don't want to, to book you anymore. You see the, the bad part about the things that's going on at these, you know, you, you are the pedestal on one end and then on another end, okay, it's hard. They don't want to book us because this type of music that we're putting out causes, you know, it brings in people that's wretched. And it's going to get there and going to act a fool and this and that and tap these people's property. Because the venue that she had just, you know, did her concert at, um, this place was just renovated so that they could um, do concerts there not too long ago. And then when the place gets towed up, that, you know, that messes up for other people that they didn't, they didn't book. They had some more rappers or some more, you know, shows coming up and now they're all canceled. They losing money now. And, you know, Glorilla and them is on to the next place to tear up and cause some chaos. See, a lot of these places are not, you know, a lot of these concerts are not worth going to. And if you're afraid that um, you might not even make it back home. One of the security guards, he, the only reason why he... um signed up to be security guard at the um, show was because one of his kids, one of his children was going to the concert. And he was worried about his child. So he signed up for the, for the do security. And he ended up getting hurt. Y'all. This ain't nothing to just, you know, throw up a post and say, oh, I'm so sorry about what happened. I wasn't there. This is what, um, you know, Glorilla threw up. So she could try to throw off the lawsuits. This is your concert. You have full responsibility of what goes on there. It's just like, um, it's just like right now, you know, um, Mob Taz. They're trying to throw the blame at everybody else. Of what happened to, you know, take off. But it was your event. It was your event. It was your birthday party. You invited the people that came there. And then the people that came there, you provided them weapons. And one ended up, you know, one of those weapons that you provided to that get-together took out one of your guests. And the person that took out one of your guests was one of your other guests. So there's no way you are not, you know, at fault for something like that. And there's no way that they're not at fault. These are the type of people that comes to your concerts. Wretched, grimy people that wants to be there. Now, it's a couple, you know, um, just people that sleep. That's, you know, like your music that's showing up. But the majority of people that's showing up are a lot of wretchedness. They want to be all standing on top of cars, shaking they, you know, back in. I know y'all remember that video I put up about somebody standing on the cars, dancing, in the middle of traffic. These are the type of people that um, is showing up to her concerts. This is another reason why she's having so much bad luck. It depends on your music, your frequencies you're putting out here. Everybody's talking about it, y'all. 
when you have a lot of demonic stuff going on, wretchedness, demonic crap going on at your concerts, this is what the type of people you're going to bring. And this is the type of drama you're going to have to deal with every time that you have a concert. And some of the parents that's, you know, half sleep, half woke, that's worried about their kids, they're going to wake up and they're going to stop letting their kids even come to the concerts. Because it's too much drama. You know? <sighs> oh, the web that some people weave. <laughs> It's weird, y'all. It's weird. And the crazy part about this whole thing is, um, you know, these rappers, they think that they can say they're sorry. Oh, I, you know, I'm praying for your family. They think I just tell you that and go about their business. But I don't know. What I'm hearing is, you know, they're having meetings right now. Trying to decide, they they having meetings with the police department. They having meetings with the fire department. They having meetings, or trying to have meetings with the venue people, but they not showing up. That's why their license got taken. Um, somebody gonna have to be at fault for this. And it does not matter if you all are fans of Glorilla and um, finesse two times, because I got people coming in the comment section talking about they not gonna they not gonna get anything from them. Oh, they're going to get something from somebody. Because two lives was lost. And they have a third person that's still in the hospital fighting for their lives right now. And others with still injuries. So, oh, somebody going to pay up. Believe that. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.